All right, so this is a suggestion via donation. The name of the video is Chris Potter's Underground. Uh, Jazz Open Stuttgart. Uh, Stuttgart, Germany, I'm guessing, right? Let's jump into it. Guys, there's like a a zoo there, like Wilhelma or something like that. It's one of the largest uh, uh, zoos in Europe, guys. If you ever get a chance to actually go check that out. Also, I was told to watch 10 minutes and 35 seconds of this, guys. The first 10 minutes and 35 seconds. Guys, this guy's delivery over the tenor sax is absolutely wild. The harmonics are crazy. Um, like, this quartet is something special, absolutely. Like, I don't know if they're always together, like, making music, but I kind of doubt it because their names are all separated in the title and they're not, like, a group name of sorts. But, um, guys, the energy that these guys are are just, like, emanating is wild. Uh, super bright, open. Again, the key word for this video the song they're playing is harmonics, guys. These guys mastered it. Let's continue. <laughs> Thank you. 
has this guy slipped past me? Question, question. How much of this is improvised? Or if any of it is. Like it could be a set that feels improvised. Super complex. coming together to create something absolutely amazing, guys. I want to see them play this exact thing again. And they're all masters, guys.
this reminds me of like the first time we heard uh, um, Snarky Puppies uh, playing Lingus, guys, with Corey Henry on the keys. Absolutely killing it the entire time, guys. Drummer held timing the entire time perfectly. Oh, this is it. Whew. Guys. Like, honestly, hearing jazz always, like, excites me, oddly. Like, internally. Um, no words needed. Guys, just rock out, in a sense, right? It always feels like a like a master class of, like, a like a jam session of sorts, right? Um, that's what I appreciate most about it. And this is kind of, like, one of these things where, like, if you've ever encountered, like, jazz, like, being played live, where... They come up with like an overall theme of the song itself, and then each of the artists actually come up and, and like give you like a solo, like something independent, something that is theirs and they'll never be able to recreate. This is what I appreciate the most about this very specific genre of music. It's like it's, it's intelligent, it's complex, it's like one off almost, right? Mathematical of sorts. Guys, amazing. No complaints here. Listen, let me know in the comments on the next thing from. Any of them that I should be listening to, uh, Adam Rogers, uh, Chris Porter, Craig Taborn, or Nate Smith, right? Let me know what I should be listening to, and I will get into that as soon as I possibly can, all right? Listen, you guys all have an absolutely amazing day. Enjoy it thoroughly.